we've seen any ruins quite like this on our adventures. Yeah, they're ancient, but also look kind of advanced. Wait, is retro sci-fi a thing? How were the tower and the floating giant stone built? Tails is the genius among us. Let's find him and see if he can figure things out. Right. I'm sure he'll hang on until I find him.
Hey, Sonic. Welcome back. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Try? I'll let you borrow a rug. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Try?
Would you like to try? I'll let you pop. me from exiting cyberspace. Is it because my AI made unauthorized access to the databases? If so, that's the exact opposite of what it was supposed to do. What are gun military craft doing in here? Sage has helped me avoid the worst of it and it doesn't appear to be manned. Is it a defense mechanism? I need to learn more. The terrain here keeps shifting. I'm finding recreations of regions from South Island, West Side Island, even Angel Island. Where is this environmental data coming from? I found elements from my own Eggnet, the United Federation, even planet Donpa Kingdom race data. As best as I can surmise, this cyberspace extends well beyond the scope of these islands and is gaining information from around the world. Fascinating. I am officially jealous. This entire expanse was constructed by the ancient race who had previously settled on these islands level of technology they employ is completely alien to me, so I can't salvage it. Yet... Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. To try? I'll let you borrow a rod. Some threat to I, I. It appears the Starfall Islands act as the CPU for cyberspace. Once I'm out of here, I need to secure them at all costs. I'm not able to access the data too readily, but it appears the entire history of the ancients is recorded here in cyberspace. More than that, they logged their memories, their desires. It's almost like they encoded their very souls into this place. Now then, how can I use that to my benefit? Who were the ancients? They predate any civilization by a wide margin. The Echidnas? The Black Arms? Please. The Babylonians? <laughs> Hardly. And yet they didn't seem to influence the world beyond these three piddly islands. Why? What stopped them from conquering the world? I'm finding multiple connections between the Ancients and the Chaos Emeralds. Their technology seems built with the Emeralds in mind. It's almost like they share the same origin. I enjoy a good mystery, but not when the answers are more mysteries. Ah! The Ancients seem to have employed a set of strange icons as keepsakes or totems. That same imagery is being used by the Coco running around the islands. Did the Coco inspire the Ancients? Or did the Coco adopt the leftovers once the Ancients were gone? Hmm. I'm fine. Would you like to try?
you like to try? I'll let you bump. Would you like to try? The I, uh, it would be something wiped out the ancients, that's for certain. A catastrophic event caused dire environmental shifts across the islands. It appears they made some effort to rebuild, but they were living on borrowed time. They died out within a generation. Some force. Would you like to try? to try? I'll let you bump. Would you like to try? I'll let you bump. the try. Uh, it would be some... I don't believe this. I had Sage run a diagnostic on the recorded genetic data of the ancients, and then against archives I have with me. They are relatives of Chaos, the god of destruction. After countless years, their DNA corroded to the point they were completely transformed into a new species. Some kind of radiation affected them for eons, making them unrecognizable. Except to a genius like me. I'm deploying my most advanced artificial intelligence into the ancient network spanning the Starfall Islands. I've codenamed it Sage. Sage will take over the alien network, take control of all its resources, and give them to me. <sighs> Once I'm out of here. Would you like to try?
Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. I'm deploying stages performing at peak efficiency. Makes me wonder where I went wrong with Orbot and Cubot. Not only is she taking control of the Ancients network, but she's harassing Sonic as well. I love it! Despite her best efforts, Sage can't seem to control the Titans. Phooey! She can prompt them to act, but something is blocking her from assuming total control. Sage keeps running the numbers by me, and it's getting tedious. Yes, the power that wiped out the Ancients was formidable. Yes, unleashing it on this world would be catastrophic. But I'm a genius! Once I'm out of here, I'll find a way to handle it. Better yet, weaponize it against Sonic! Sage has been crucial to my survival here in cyberspace. Early warnings of hostile entities, guiding me past firewalls, Keeping me updated on progress in the real world, she, she's the best. She, it, it, it's a program. An adorable program, a very personable program. A, a uh, I wonder if she has a preference. Some force, eh? Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. to try I'll let you would you like to try would you like to try I'll would you like to 
try? to try? I'll let you... Would you like to try? Oh. To try. I, uh, I'm the... I'm the... I never really knew my cousin Maria. Everyone spoke of her like she was very special. All that love for someone who was gone when I was right there! But I have to wonder. Back then, was she anything like Sage is now? Sage told the funniest joke during her report. How fast can Sonic screw things up? Instantly, he's the fastest thing alive. I tell you, she's a chip off the old block. Well, for a program, I mean, it's not like she's alive. Or family, or... Hmm. Who says I can't create life, huh? Just a bunch of proteins bumping together, anyone can do that. A true genius does it with code and electrons. And if I did create life, she would be brilliant and loyal and perfectly effective. And you know why? Because her dad is a genius, that's why. Some foe says... Would you like to try?
to try? I'll let you borrow. Sonic's on the island. Of course, Sonic is on the island. I can't remember the last time I had a good night scheme without him ruining it. Still, for a purely organic creature, obtaining Mach 1 of his own volition is impressive. I'm man enough to admit that. It's Sonic who named me Eggman. Except the joke's on him. I embraced the name. I made it my own. His mockery is now a name feared across the ages. I'm not going to adopt Baldy McNose here, though. My uh, dignity has limits. It appears Amy Rose has been dragged into the mix. Clever girl. Tenacious. She's come a long way since being an easy pawn in my schemes to ensnare Sonic. It seems like she had some trouble finding herself. But when you hang around with someone with as big an ego as Sonic, self-identification has to be a challenge. Would you like to try? I'll let you borrow a rod. <laughs> <laughs> 